Ninja Baby. Ever heard of Ninja Babies? You might think I'm joking, but am I really? Aya! Ha! Ha ha ha! Ow! Oh, sweetie, how many times have I asked you not to tumble around like that? But I want to be a ninja. Ninjas aren't always shouting, "Hiya!" And she's right. Mothers know best. Real ninjas? They're masters of invisibility. So adept, they're barely noticed while vigilantly observing everything around them. Oh, and speaking of which, almost didn't spot her here. Baby Erica, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. I even checked here a few times, but somehow missed you. I was just watching that bird over there. It's got a cool spot. Oh, that bird is so far away, and you can see a spot on him. Uh huh. All right, it's dinner time, and what do we always say? A, a healthy, healthy tummy, tummy is, is the, the way, way to, to a healthy, healthy mind. mind. Baby Erica was discovered by Mr. Chow on a stormy night, or at least that's the tale Mr. Chow spun for the young child. You arrived in a golden basket left on my doorstep by fairies. They told me your parents had embarked on an endless adventure, and now you were my precious charge. You know, it's not very nice to say a child's parents went on a trip and never came back. <clears throat> Ahem, I meant to say a gentle stork brought you here because I was deemed worthy of such a wonderful gift. Gah, Uncle Chow! <laughs> <laughs> Though just a toddler, Erica was no ordinary child, something Mr. Chow was gradually beginning to understand. Oh, that one? Uh-huh. Hmm, this is a puzzler. Wait, I've got it! <gasps> you figured it out without even breaking a sweat. You could have been hurt. How did you do that? I don't really know. It just makes sense to me. But tell me, how did your slipper end up way over there? <sighs> I'm the shortest one. My friends think it's funny to play pranks on me. I mean, I know they're my friends, but sometimes I wish they'd stop. True friends should care about how you feel, right? Maybe it's time they learned that. Erica was not your average toddler. With wisdom beyond her years, and extraordinary hand-eye coordination, she impressed everyone around her. How much for this? Thank you! Oh! Oops! There you go! Wow, Erica! I wish my Sammy could catch things like that. But he's so good with colors, Mrs. Darwell. I wish I could paint like Sammy does. That's very kind of you to say, dear. Erica's keen observation skills were just as remarkable as her agility. May I have that orange, please? Hmm. Uncle Chow, that man just slipped an apple into his bag. Oh, I am so sorry. This must have fallen in by mistake. Here, please take it back. See, Erica? Sometimes things aren't exactly as they seem. I know what I saw. Something still isn't right here. Erica's intuition was razor sharp, and she trusted it completely when it came to Mr. Roderick. I can't park there. That's reserved for handicapped parking. Ah, I didn't see that. Thank you for pointing it out. No problem. I'll park a little further away.
Erica, are you listening? Yes, you were saying you want to go home, which you say every day. Sammy, what do you think about Mr. Roderick? Oh, Mr. Roderick, oh, he's wonderful. Yesterday, when Mommy was hurt and couldn't go to the market, he took our list and bought everything. How kind of him. Hmm, he's a little too helpful for someone who's new in town. Over the weeks, Mr. Roderick became everyone's favorite. He respected the elders, followed the town's rules, and even won over the children. I've got some for everyone. I am not supposed to have chocolates. Oh, come on, just this once. I'll talk to Mrs. Darwell. You must be Erica. Don't you want one? No, thank you. I need to go home for lunch with my uncle. Ah, you live with your uncle, right? I'm sure he's wonderful. How does he know all this? Everything all right, Munchkin? You seem a worried. Uncle Chow, if you don't trust someone who everyone else trusts, what should I do? That's called instinct, and you should never ignore it. Listen to others, but trust your gut above all. With that, Erica had a plan. She followed Mr. Roderick, observing his every move. But not even once did Erica lose her focus. She was stealthy, steady, and calm, like a true ninja. This went on for a couple of days. Each morning, Roderick left his house in the morning and Erica followed. Erica was making mental notes of every move he made. I've been tailing him for days, yet he never seems to work. Why? You need to stop. Please buzz away somewhere else. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. <sighs> well, it is getting late. Uncle Chow will be worried. Come on, Bee. Let's go home. Good morning, Munchkin. Come, help me look for weeds. Uncle Chow, you do this every day. Weeds don't sprout that fast. I know, but consistency is key. It might be boring, but it's how you master anything. Today's world is full of distractions, but boredom sharpens focus. But it's boring to do the same thing. Yes, it is. And that's why one should do it every day. You see, today, everybody is always distracted. But getting bored is an important part of focus. You keep doing one thing over and over, and you will master it. <gasps> of course! Okay, Uncle Chow. Thank you. Bye! Huh? Mr. Chow is right. Mr. Roderick isn't just loitering, he's up to something. But what's his motive? Erica was determined to track Mr. Roderick's movement. But she knew he'd spot her reflection in the rearview mirror. Thinking quickly, Ninja Erica concocted a clever scheme. As the traffic light turned red, Erica, with the stealth of a seasoned ninja, secured her skateboard to the undercarriage of Mr. Roderick's car and lay flat, hidden from view. Mr. Roderick, oblivious to his silent passenger, drove off. 
To Erica's astonishment, Mr. Roderick did stop until he crossed the town's borders, arriving at a secluded estate. Hello there, Mr. B. We must never repeat this risky maneuver. Understand? It's extremely dangerous. <laughs> Erica stealthily followed Mr. Roderick into a cabin, which surprisingly turned out to be an elevator. Inside, she was stunned by what she heard. Sally, any updates from our surveillance? Boss, despite all the cameras we've installed, we still can't identify the so-called threat we were warned about. Our intel was explicit. This town is protected by a formidable presence, yet none of the townsfolk seem to pose any danger. <sighs> Let's not linger on this phantom threat any longer. Time to proceed with our plan. Understood, boss. You've led us well. The night museum, as planned, is closed for pest control tonight. Making it the ideal time to seize the town's ancient jam. Exactly. Now all we need to do is disguise ourselves as pest control workers and walk right into the museum. That night, a surprise awaited Mr. Roderick and Mr. Sally at the Night Museum. Sally, what is Mrs. Darwell doing here? <coughs> we are from the Pest Control Office. And I'm from the Beauty Clinic, apparently. What's happening? Mr. Roderick, were you attempting to steal the gem? Of course. W wait, why did I just admit to that? What your cameras fail to reveal is that I'm also a pharmacist. And in my home, I concoct various potions. You've just ingested a truth serum while you were asleep. But how did you know it was us? All thanks to my vigilant daughter, who's been watching you closely. Mrs. Darwell, were you the threat I was warned about? What? Let's cut the charades, Mr. Roderick. Mrs. Darwell, let's find out about these cameras. I'll handle this. With the town back to normal, Erica continued to hone her ninja skills, this time for sneaking cookies. Sammy returned to his painting, and Mrs. Darwell resumed her creative concoctions. Roderick and Sally found themselves behind bars. However, secrets lingered. Roderick and Sally were not the only ones with hidden agendas. Your Majesty, rest assured, your daughter is safe and thriving under my care. The Ninja Princess will indeed rise. <laughs>